compagnie de Brandel Champly, évidemment, analyste uh, au Golf Channel. Brandel, nice to have you here with us today. It's nice um, to be here. You know, Brandel, a few books uh, <laughs> last year, Anatomy of Greatness, um, the short game. You know, when this passion technically for golf began for you? Uh, you know, I, I guess when I got on the PGA Tour, I would, I, would, I would videotape all the tournaments, and I'd come home and I would replay them, and, and I noticed that the best players would take the club sort of inside, and then they'd have this little over-the-top move, and nobody was teaching that. And it was always curious to me. I, uh, I thought, well, why does nobody teach that move? Uh, nobody was teaching sort of that. And so I became curious and I started reading golf books and ever since then I just have uh, an obsession for what moves bring about long straight shots. Uh, that's why we're all here trying to find how to hit it longer and straighter. And uh, the new book that I have coming out, The Anatomy of Greatness, but it's all about the short game, commonalities of the greatest short games of all time. Same thing, I'm looking for the common moves of the greatest pitchers, chippers, and putters of all time. That book has been particularly fun to write because there was relatively very little information out there on the short game as compared to the long game. So when, when the, the passion became, okay, I got to write a book about that because nobody been talking about this. Well, I wanted to, I thought golf instruction just in general had gotten very esoteric even, very technically oriented. And I wanted to, first of all, I wanted to know what the commonalities were of the greatest swings of all time. Uh, and the book didn't exist. So I thought, well, I'll write it. You know, I want to read it and it's not out there. I'll just write the book. But I also wanted to swing the conversation of golf instruction back to, in my view, um, something that is more easily digestible mm -hmm. for the amateur golfer. I just think instruction had gotten far too complicated and I wanted to simplify it or at least try to for the uh, amateur golfer. For you on personal side, throughout that journey to writing a book, has your philosophy changed for your swing? Yeah, absolutely. It's a good question. So when I played in college golf, I, uh, I hit the ball long. You know, I won a long driving contest in the Southwest Conference. I hit it high and, and I was the best or but certainly within the top three players in the in the country. But when I got in on the tour, I started taking a lot of golf lessons and my swing became unrecognizable to what it was in college. I was much more uh, resisted with my lower body and short. And now then I've gone back to the way I swung in college. I have a, a much longer swing, a much more upright swing. Um, I hit the ball better now than I did when I played the tour. I played the tour for 15 years. Um, this is a technique, technique-wise, or just because of technology, you think? Uh, well, tech, that's a good question, too. Uh, technology certainly helped, no question about it. Uh, you know, you don't, you can get away with a lot now. Um, but, but it's technique, you know, mostly. And my technique now is, is more along the lines of what the best players of all time did. Um, you know, I'm 55, so I don't quite have the same zap or zip that I did when I was 25, but I still get it out there a pretty good ways, and I'm going to try to compete this year a little bit when I'm not doing shows at the Golf Channel, and when I get this second book finished, um, I'm going to try to play a handful of events. That's pretty yeah. good. That's a pretty good news. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, Brandon Chambly, thanks for your time, and we're looking forward to, to hear your, your frankness once again. Well, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.